but this is a story all about how my life got flipped, turned upside down, and I'd like to take 400 seconds, just stand right here and tell you how I found my passion in a dumpster. See, it all started when my grade 12 history teacher told the class to do something you're passionate about. Crazy, right? It gets even crazier because the rubric for this was to simply make it awesome. What? Think about that. So at first I'm like, wow, thanks man. Like, okay, what now? But then I realized, hey, I can do something with this because my passion is the environment. It's in inspiring change and making a difference in the world, but the 18-year-old girl in me just wanted to make pretty dresses. So I decided, you know, why not combine these two passions and hold a trash and show for my school in order to change the way they saw waste and see it with the capacity to do something awesome, you know? So, I don't know about you, but when I look at a dumpster filled with cardboard boxes and newspapers and styrofoam, I see a dress. Yeah? No? Okay. Well, this dress here is made from cardboard boxes, and the bodice is um, paper bags, and the necklace, that's someone's chemistry project wrapped in aluminum foil. And I love Victorian air. I love um, their statement hats and huge skirts, defined waists. I love that. So I figured, you know, why not make it out of trash? Um, and the hat, it's made out of styrofoam cups, plates, and fruit netting, and the bow styrofoam uh, packaging. Speaking of styrofoam, uh, that's what the flower is made out of. Um, and the dress, that's from plastic garbage bags. Now, fun fact, did you know we use a trillion plastic garbage bags, no, plastic bags a year? So that's like a million plastic bags a minute. Crazy, right? Now, something a lot of people don't know is just how much waste we generate just by old clothing and textiles. Now, if everyone threw out um, like an, a bag of old clothing, that's like 65 pounds of textiles, that adds up to about 20 billion pounds of textile waste each year, which is crazy. So I figured, you know, I'm going to illustrate this with the next two dresses. And so this dress here is made from um, an old fleece blanket, and the other one was made from you know, curtain ends, um, scrap fabric, old clothing and dresses, because, you know, people don't realize just, like, how much water it takes to make something like a shirt. And this is my favorite one. This is made out of um, newspaper. And what you don't see here is the broken hula hoop, wire hanger, and um, paper, pl paper bags holding it together. And now you might be thinking, like, this is really nice and all. And pretty dresses, right? Pretty dresses, that's all anyone can think of. But this project wasn't about the dresses. It's not about trash or, or fashion or any of that. It was actually about an idea. An idea that challenges the very definition of waste. Because in nature, there's no such thing as waste. In nature, everything is part of a cycle, and everything that's waste is actually a resource for another part of that cycle. Yet, when we look around us, like all we see is waste. Right? So why? Why is that? Because we've created this disposable consumer culture. But cultures can change. And it all starts with an idea. So let's take a look at the global garbage bin here. So about half of that is organic, the other 40% recyclable. Yet over 90% of that ends up in a dump or a landfill. That's crazy, right? Think about it. We are taking our resources and dumping it. And this doesn't make sense economically or environmentally. Right now we follow a very linear economy. We, we take resources, make something out of them, and then dispose of them. But as I said, does that make sense for our future? Is that sustainable at all? No. So what's the solution? You know, it seems really depressing. But there's a solution. It's in using waste as a resource. And that allows for innovation. Things like how in Taiwan they made entire buildings out of um, plastic water bottles, or in Austria, how they have sewage pipe hotels, or you see shipping container apartments popping up everywhere. But this kind of innovation takes a different type of thinking, a divergent thinking. So let's see just how divergently you guys think here. So what can you do with a blanket? Shout it out. Anything. Yes. Tent. What else? Dress. Dress. Yes. What else? Mm -hmm. Keep going. Hats. Hats, yes. Hats. 
Well, exactly, yeah. Why not? You can smuggle dead bodies, use it as a sail, blindfold a dragon, use it as a handkerchief or a giant, humidifier, shooting practice, catch people, rob a house, parachute, use it as a popsicle, escape out of a magical hidden tower. You know, we have to start making the thoughtless thoughtful. We have to change the norm. But now, how do we do that for stinky, smelly trash? Well, it's quite simple, actually. It just starts with the way you think about trash, the way you see waste. And you can do anything with waste, really, if you just see the value in it. You know, you can make a hammock out of plastic garbage bags. You can make a spaceship out of, I don't know, like socks or something. Look at, look at this. This is the amount of cell phones we throw away in North America every freaking day. Like, that is crazy. But just by this picture, we can see that a lot of big things are made up of just a lot of small things, you know? Same thing, same way how a lot of big things make up small things. Your one impact does make a difference. And that's where this challenge comes in. It's to redefine waste. And I challenge you, Markham, how do you redefine waste? How do you use waste as a resource and challenge the norm? So I want everyone to take out their phones. Okay, log on to Twitter. Half of you are already on your phones on Twitter right now. Okay. And by the power vested in social media, make a promise to yourself. You know, I will hashtag redefine waste, buy, and then do something crazy. You know, I don't know. Give an idea of how you can use waste as a resource. And what I'm trying to do here is not make you guys into clicktivists, you know, activism that only goes beyond, that only goes, goes as far as a click. But I want to create a cultural shift that really does see waste as a resource.